When it comes to attack helicopters, the battle of dominance often brings two powerful names to the spotlight, the American AH-64 Apache and India's very own light combat helicopter Parchanda. Both machines are designed for modern warfare, but while the Apache is a battle-tested global legend, the LCH is a homegrown marvel tailored for India's unique high-altitude challenges. Comparing these two helicopters gives us fascinating insights into how global technology stacks up against indigenous innovation. The AH-64 Apache is an aircraft manufactured by Boeing Defense, Space and Security. It is a twin-engine, four-blade rotor helicopter mainly developed for close air support and anti-armor tasks. It has a tandem cockpit design with the pilot in the back seat and the co-pilot and gunner in the front seat operating the armament systems. On the other hand, the HAL-LCH is a multi-role combat helicopter designed by HAL for anti-infantry and anti-armor missions. Featuring a tandem cockpit, glass cockpit design, and an integrated avionics and display system, the LCH draws on the success of the HAL Druve, significantly reducing development costs. Apache has the 17.73 meters, 58 feet 2 in length, while LCH Parchand is slightly smaller length, at 15.8 meters, 51 feet 10. The Apache has an empty weight of 5,165 kilograms, while Parchanda is much lighter, with an empty weight of 2,250 kilograms. Apache can take off at a maximum weight of 10,433 kilograms, while Parchanda is slightly lesser, with maximum takeoff weight of 5,800 kilograms. The Apache is powered by two General Electric T700 turboshaft engines, each producing around 1,690 to 1,890 shop, depending on the variant. While Parchanda uses two HAL Turbomika Shakti 1H1 engines, each generating 1,384 horsepower, optimized for high-altitude operations. The Apache has a 43-foot main rotor, while India's LCH Parchanda comes in slightly larger, with a 43 feet 4 inches rotor. Apache AH-64 costs around $52 million per unit. In comparison, the LCH Parchanda is more affordable, priced at approximately $48 million per unit. This makes the Parchanda a cost-effective, alternative for high-altitude attack missions. The Apache reaches a maximum speed of 293 km per hour, while Parchanda is slightly slower, with a maximum speed of 280 km per hour. The Apache carries a 30mm M230 chain gun with 1,200 rounds along with multiple rocket and missile options. Its primary weapons include AGM-114 Hellfire missiles, Hydra-70 rockets, and Stinger air-to-air -air missiles, with the flexibility to carry Mavericks and Spike missiles as well. The Parchanda is equipped with a 20mm M621 cannon mounted on a Nexter turret. It supports FZ-275 laser-guided rockets, Mistral air-to-air -air missiles, and India's indigenous Dravastra anti-tank guided missiles. Future upgrades include precision-guided bombs and cluster munitions. The Apache is equipped with advanced radar systems, including the Longbow Fire Control Radar, and features integrated electronic warfare systems for survivability. While Parchanda features the Elbit Compass Electro-Optical Suite Missile Approach Warning Systems, 
SOB radar and laser warning sensors, and chaff or flare dispensers for countermeasures. Apache has a background. The AH-64 Apache helicopter, which was built in 1975 and has undergone a number of minor updates to improve its performance capabilities, is regarded as one of the best attack helicopters in history. This helicopter's armor is capable of withstanding direct 23mm bullet impacts. This helicopter's rotor blades are also built to function well even after damage. Compared to the earlier, limited series production models, the upcoming serial production variants of the Parchando will include at least seven new systems and four significant upgrades, such as indigenous air-to-ground missiles and laser-guided rockets, modern electronic warfare systems and nuclear detection capability, a secure data link for communication with other platforms, an obstacle avoidance system, and directed infrared countermeasures. Upgrades to sensors like the electro-optical, pod, and helmet-mounted pointing system. The Australian Army has taken to the skies with its first AH-64E Apache attack helicopters in Northern Australia. Two newly acquired Apaches, part of a $4.5 billion deal with U.S. defense contractors, have arrived at Townsville, the North Queensland garrison city. The AH-64E has been a popular choice among existing Apache operators. While several new countries, including India, Australia, Morocco, and Poland, have joined the Apache family. Despite debates over the relevance of traditional attack helicopters in modern conflicts like Ukraine, technological upgrades to the airframe have ensured that the Apache continues to play a crucial role in contemporary warfare. With enhanced sensors, weapon systems, and performance, the AH-64E remains a versatile and effective combat platform. India's indigenous LCH Parchanda is gaining international attention as a versatile and cost-effective attack helicopter. At least three countries have shown interest in procuring the HAL-developed helicopter, which excels in high altitude and challenging terrains. Battle-tested in India's border regions, it has proven effective in recent skirmishes with China. The Indian Ministry of Defense has signed contracts worth over 62,700 Indian rupees crore, $7.3 billion USD, for 156 units, with deliveries starting in 2027 to 28, positioning India as an emerging exporter in the defense sector. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about both helicopters in the comments section.